cow is one of Rust's neatest types. It's really convenient. And I have a few videos on it. And you can see it's it's a simple enum. You can either use uh, borrowed uh, data or own data. And what this does is it gives you the best of both worlds. So if you have some, uh, like a reference to something, then you can keep it around and not modify it as uh, as borrowed. Or if you need to turn it to an own type, then you can do that. And you can do it all inside this single type. And because cow is really convenient, you see it in uh, Surreal DB, the inside the code as well. They're, uh, the engineers are big fans of it. And so I thought I'd show a few of the patterns used. And just starting from the, the most simple one, this is just uh, taking a value. So a value is an enum that is uh, any, any sort of value that can be returned from the database. So you've got all these uh, things here, date times and durations and so on. And if you have a, uh, a value, then you can turn it into uh, a cow with just a, an into because from gives you into as well. So you get a cow owned. And then if you have a reference to a value, then it uh, gives you a cow borrowed. So in your own types, if you are working with, uh, if you want to use cows and you might have a reference and you might not, then you can just uh, do the simple implementation of from and then you can uh, use cow pretty easily. So that's one. And now into some concrete examples. So here is, um, this is the part of the parser here. And you can see this is making escape characters. So you might need to do like uh, some fiddling around with, uh, with back quote, with um, single and double quotes and back ticks and things like that. And so here you have this, uh, this escape normal and there's like escape numeric and all sorts of things here. And you can see they all return a cow, a stir. So it might be a string and it might be a stir. And so this one here, it checks to see uh, what kind of characters there. Is it uh, ASCII alphanumeric or is it a, and you can see it's bytes. So it's, uh, whoops, as bytes. And it goes to each uh, each byte and checks to see. And if, um, if it's not uh, uh, one of these two, then what it uh, what it does is it uh, returns a cow owned, which is a uh, which holds a string here, and you can see this is like left and right, and then here it uh, replaces with these uh, with these back tick or uh, back uh, what is it quote characters? Where are they? Like double, we got double quotes, double quotes, and double escape, and we don't need to look at that in much detail. But the point here is, if you need to change the data, then you're going to need some owned data. And so you return the cow owned, and if not, if nothing here matches, then you just take the uh, the stir, and you just pass it on. So it's a it's a cow borrowed, and you don't don't need to touch it. You don't need to uh, allocate any memory. So that's nice and efficient. So that's one example. This other one is probably my favorite example here because this is. So what this is is uh, I have a. An example over here so this this has to do with when you're making a field from like an operation then does, does it have a name or not so does it have an alias and the way that works is so for example if you are doing a select and you can see there's a there's an object here and it's got a name Billy so you're returning name and you're returning name plus exclamation mark and since this doesn't have a name it's going to just make the field name for you so uh, returns name as well and then we didn't give it a name so it just says okay we're going to call this field name plus exclamation mark because uh, you didn't uh, tell the database to give it a, a specific name but you might find that to be ugly so what you can do is you can add this as which is an alias and you can say take this name plus exclamation mark and I want you to make this field or give this name excited name instead of this uh, this thing here so now you can see You've got name and then it has excited name right there. So that is called an alias in Surreal DB and many other places call it an alias too. <clears throat> and so you can see here what it does is it checks to see, okay, there uh, there's like a struct that it's working on and it checks to see, okay, is there an alias here? And because it's working from, uh, from a ref, you can see it's a ref option idiom, but you don't want uh, a ref to the uh, to a, to an own value inside here. What you want to do is get an option of a ref, and Rust has a built-in uh, method called uh, asref, and you can see it converts from a 
ref of an option to an option of a ref. And then that lets you uh, check to, lets you like not touch the data, just uh, just look at the reference. And then uh, then you can uh, you can map and then so if it's if it's inside there then you can just uh, pass it on as a cow borrowed and if not you're going to have to put together a name like this like a name plus uh, exclamation mark and in that case what you're going to have to do is build a string and so this is going to have to be owned and so th these are all just like internal internal uh, methods to to parse and create a string so at the end of the day this is just saying uh, cow owned with a string inside and then so those are all strings cows cows usually use them for strings because they're super convenient but you don't have to use them just with strings and here is one example of that these you can see these in all of the all of the query methods pretty much i uh, i put a video up about two two videos ago about how these are these are async builders and so what happens is you call let's see where is it do, 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 do. for example if you call set then it'll return a set and if you call a query then it'll return a query and then they have into uh into future built on them so they're like these async uh async builders and the important thing is that <clears throat> so they have a cow which holds the surreal client. So most of the time you'd like to borrow the client uh, if possible. But then there's also a, a convenience function here called uh, into owned. And what it does is it uh, just turns it into a cow owned. And the reason for that, you can see this comment over each one converts to an own type, which can easily be moved to a different thread. So just to show how this works. So this, uh, this DB query is going to return a, uh, a query and then you can call a query a type called a query and you can call a wait on it but for example maybe you don't want to do that you want to hold on to it pass it on somewhere and uh, and sort of like build it up a little bit before you call a wait and let's say for some reason you also want to do it inside a different thread and anything you do inside a different thread it's going to complain here even if you just print it. So we just want to print X. And what happens here is cargo check. Rest analyzer is a little bit uh, slow here for some reason. And this check didn't take any time at all before I recorded the video. There we go. So you can see DB does not live long enough and that's because it has some, uh, some borrowed Row data and has to be borrowed for stata, and then it always gives you this uh, this suggestion that uh, that you can use the move keyword, and that would work. Actually, the first error is about uh, we didn't give it any. We didn't tell the closure to take the value, so then you uh, then you add move, and it still doesn't work because it doesn't live long enough because it's borrowed data. So at this point. That is when you can call this into owned method, and that turns it to a cow with its with uh, with owned data, and so it uh, the lifetimes are, are no problem anymore because it's uh, it's not borrowing. Um, there's no lifetimes involved here anymore, and you can see so now it compiles and there are no more er errors. So it uh, defaults to a borrowed cow whenever it can, but it also has this into owned in case you need to use it. Uh, inside multiple threads. So that is about four, I think four or five uh, quick examples of where cow can uh, can make your life a little bit better and uh, increase your uh, performance by letting you just borrow data uh, most of the time and, and sometimes turn into own data when the uh, situation arises.